Netflix Dreams, episode two, Cobra Kai. I never watched Cobra Kai. I never watched the show. I never watched it. I never, I didn't care to. I saw it and I was just like, is this gonna be a cheesy continuation of the original Karate Kid? Is this gonna be a money grab? Is this gonna be something worth watching? And everyone that I've spoken to has told me that I should definitely check it out to review it. So stay tuned for that. Then I watched episode two, Netflix Dreams, Cobra Kai. And uh, if it's anything like this, I'm gonna watch it. When I first saw it, I was like, okay, King Vader's making another one. This should be good. Hopefully it's good. It was actually well done. It was actually well done. The intro sequences to the shows, I find it to be really, really engaging because if you ever watch Netflix and you're just home chilling, that's kind of how it feels. You can turn on a show and you start watching it and then by the time you look around, you probably dozed off if you're really tired from work, school or whatever. So I like the intro sequences to that. The storyline for, the, for, the, for this episode was good. It was really good in the sense of everything made sense. Like, they showed you who King Vader's character was, they showed you who the main antagonist was. You, They show you the conflict of why they have to deal with one another. The fight sequences were well choreographed, but as a what if, what if, like, for one of, there's a sequence specifically where they're in the hallway and it looks like it's trying to do a one single take, something like Kingsman. I would have loved to have seen that entire thing like one solid take all the way through. That would have been really dope. Camera work was good. Uh, location was good. There were some parts where I was just like, all right, um, this is cool. It didn't really do nothing for me. Like the beach scene was cool. Where they were all learning how to fight was cool. I wish I could have seen more of the other students from uh, the from King Vader's dojo against some of the other dojos that were there. Uh, I know that probably would have padded out the runtime a little bit too much, but it would have made it cooler for the final fight scene. Overall, if I had to say it, I would say that this show was a really good introduction for me as someone who's never watched Cobra Kai. So if you guys have never watched Cobra Kai and you wanna see what it might be like, I would say to watch this show first and then go ahead and give the, the show an actual chance. King Vader, good on you guy. I like the content, keep up the good work. Uh, if you guys want to do something for, um, you guys want to do, damn, what show? What Netflix show could y'all do? Y'all already did Umbrella Academy. I did this. Sabrina just finished. If y'all want to do something, ooh, and you're in LA too, y'all could do this. I just violated my camera. I'm sorry. If you guys wanted to, or what you guys could do, if you, I don't know, open-minded to it, what if you guys did a Sabrina, and what if you guys did you? That'd be fire. Anyway, guys, that's my time. I love and appreciate all the support from you guys. I uh, got more content coming soon. Deuces.